So here in the courtroom, what we're looking at is a man at the uh, podium speaking to a judge who's off camera. And then we see these two other gentlemen standing behind him. One of them is dressed in black, and then the other one has on a red shirt. It appears they are queued up waiting to have their matters heard before the judge. The man in black and the man in red, they are total strangers to each other. Seated behind the two gentlemen who are standing is a plainclothes police officer. And he notices something drop to the floor. He looks a little closer and it seems to be a packet of white powder of some sort. Thinks, you know, that, that, that looks like cocaine. The court proceedings come to a halt as a deputy is called into the courtroom. Sergeant Carrie Beelman arrives to investigate. Hello. And the detective begins to describe what he's witnessed happen here. This gentleman is standing right here. He tells the officer that he believes the man in black just dropped a controlled substance. Put his foot on it. And he stepped back. He kept looking at him. That's almost a sign of guilt right then and there. If it's not yours, uh, why try and hide it? It seems like it's a pretty open and shut case. Sergeant Beelman takes photos and questions the man in black. Okay, so we're standing right here. So sure, I was like, I do this. I, yeah, you know, this guy said, "Oh, excuse me, excuse me, something fell off of this gentleman's pocket." I said, "Did you literally see something fall out of my pocket?" You know, this is a serious crime. Sure. It's not uncommon that people want to know what the proof is that you have against them. Did you actually see me do that? Where did it come from? I do not know. I'm not going to explain nothing because I have okay. nothing to explain. I'm just telling you. <laughs> no, no, you kind of do though, right? No, no, I, I can't. I can't. You know. So you tell me if it wasn't your drugs. Tell me whose drugs you think it was. Probably the next guy sitting, standing next to me. Okay, which guy is that? The, the guy, guy in the, the red? red? Yes. Okay. That is not an unusual claim. But, you know, in fact, we call it some other dude did it. After wrapping up her first interview, Sergeant Beelman questions the man in red. Who is 43-year-old Juan Bibiresca, who was actually in court that day for a bond violation on a previous felony narcotics charge. Can you tell me what happened today? I saw a little baggie. Yeah. The officer that was the head of the gun, he, he also saw the little baggie on the floor. And he says, I even pointed it out, hey, there's a baggie on the floor. So, do you do cocaine? No. No? When was the last time you did cocaine? Saturday, I think it's the 29th. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, over the weekend. So maybe the guy in the black was telling the truth after all. Meanwhile, as Sergeant Beelman questions the men in the hall, detectives are scanning the courtroom surveillance cameras. They look at the surveillance, and very slowly, they look at frame by frame by frame. You began to get a clear understanding of where these drugs came from. At some point, the man in red looks like he's putting maybe a hat or something behind his back. And as he does that, you can see the object kind of fly from behind him, almost as if it was knocked out of his other hand or maybe came out of the hat itself. After Bibriesca drops the bag, he glances over at the detective. If you watch closely, you can actually see Juan see the detective noticing all of this that's going on. And that's when Bibriesca points out the bag to his neighbor. He knows the jig may be up. So it's my hunch that he's trying to downplay his role and his attachment to that bag. Hey, are those drugs on the floor? It was his all along. I have no doubt that Juan would have allowed that guy in black to be arrested for possession of that narcotic. Men lie, women lie, but cameras, they don't lie. <laughs>